Hello and welcome to Seagull Social, season two, episode nine. We are the boys, Maz, Is it nine or Ryan, ten? and Ben. Is it ten? Who knows? I don't mate? know. Who knows anymore? Let us know in the comments below. <laughs> listen, mate. <laughs> listen, lost. listen. The, uh, the the feet has got me on. Got me. Uh, got me a bit. You know, flabbergasted. Mm. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on anymore. Mate, my wife tried recording. Going yeah, for the first twenty minutes, we've been trying to record, and Ryan keeps dropping out. So hopefully, you're actually watching this on YouTube, and we haven't packed up. If you're watching this, then it's all worked. Oh, so thank fuck for that. We're not even exaggerating when we say it's literally quarter past 12 right now. We're supposed to start filming at 12 o'clock. Like that is, oh my God, that is just ridiculous. I'm sorry. Right, fingers Jesus. crossed we, we, we can keep Ryan for the whole pod. Um, but Good boys, luck. of course, um, <laughs> listen, Man City, it was always a tough game. I know we went it, well, Ryan went into it very positive. Ryan thought we were going to win 4-1, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, <Nice. laughs> <laughs> 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 yeah, you got it right, right. You got the score right. Uh, the score right. Just the other, yeah, the other way around. Yeah. yeah, I thought I said two, um, but oh, I didn't even know. <laughs> I think he said four. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm such a wind up. I mean, I'm too much of a wind up for my own good at this point. Like, I need to just yeah. stop being honest yeah. again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but um, but let's talk about because obviously it was, it was a tale of two halves. Without you know being cliched, but it was, wasn't it? It was a, a tale of two halves. First half we were shocking, in my opinion. That's just my my opinion. We were we were not good. All over the and shop, then, were we? Yeah, all over the shop. Mm-hmm. Those little mini spells, which I thought, oh, look, we're getting into the game again. And then and then Man City will just literally open us yeah. up again. Uh, but then the second half, we came out, and fair play, like, you know, Potter obviously said something to the boys at half time, and we came out fighting. We were the better team for the majority of the, the game. Obviously, ended up, what, the second half ended up 1 all, didn't it? Uh, we were 3 0 down first half, and then we ended up. We drew the second yeah. half, so. I'm right to the quiz. Premier League. I'm right that's to the, the Premier League quiz. now. Give us half a point. <laughs> so Ryan, um, yeah, what, what was it? What, uh, we'll start with you, Ryan. Um, yeah, what was just your general thoughts of the game in, in general? Um, I mean, the mood around the ground was quite good towards the end. Of, I think particularly second half, but I think yeah, say first half, first thirty minutes, it was just a bit of a lesson, wasn't it? I mean, cool. to be honest with you, I thought first five, ten minutes, we were actually looking all right. We passed it around a little bit. I was thinking, oh, maybe, you know, we could be all right here. And then all of a sudden, mm. we get hit three three goals every ten minutes. I think it was one goal every ten minutes, wasn't it? And it was yeah. just like, where's that just come from, you know? Um, but no, I think what, what how I look at it is, at least we got humbled by Manchester City. Because obviously, you know, Manchester United just lost 5-0 to Liverpool. And then... Everton just lost five two to Watford, and I know who I'd rather be losing to. It's definitely Man City over Watford, you know. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. You know, uh, as much as it's really annoying, obviously second half we did play a lot better, so I'm not going to be all doom and gloom about it. But yeah, first half it was it was really bad, and I think it was just a, it was more of a case of they were just different level. Like you know, if you've got mm, the yeah. likes of Kevin De Bruyne coming off the bench, Riyad Mahrez coming off the bench, Fernandinho coming off the bench. You know, that's when you know that's there right. is a serious golfing quality. And obviously, the, the squad we put out at the beginning, I was really confused by. Obviously, I put the tweet on saying good tea, but that was more just about the boys more than me, honestly, thinking. I was a bit like, I don't really know. I, I did think it was a bit of a strange decision, you know, what we went with. But obviously, we've got a few injuries yeah. here and there. But yeah, yeah, I did. it was just a bit of a, yeah, humbler, to be honest. Yeah, I was less. Uh, I was. I would have been more disappointed in losing, let's say, like one 0 at home to Villa than losing four one, because like we kind of expect that City were going to win, right? Like surely yeah, most yeah. people thought oh, that yeah. was going to happen. It was more. Definitely. The only thing that was frustrating is the goals City scored were like jammy oh, f- goals that a nine year old scored against them, FIFA. Yeah, two like, of them they're just like little horrible, deflections, a sweaty goal that went top bins. Dan yeah. Burn trying to get a leg at it. We also we'll go into a lot more depth of what happened with Sanchez, whether it was a yeah. foul or not. In, in well, in like ten minutes' time, maybe I don't know. I'm losing track. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> all in all, Taylor two halves, like you said, Maz. But yeah, yeah, those the goals we conceded were annoying. It would have been if we conceded yeah. like proper like bangers rather than fucking dodgy, dodgy no, goals. Mistakes, wasn't that's it? The, it was stupid mistakes they were yeah, getting punished mistakes. for. I mean, as I say, that's 100%. the levels, isn't it? Really, if they can punish you, they literally had four chances, four goals. And as I say, that is the levels yeah. of it. But the way we the way we conceded those chances was so poor at times, you know. Phil Foden, well, no. sorry, hats off to him for like playing up front against like Lewis Dunk and all them boys. Like he he done an unbelievable job, in my opinion. No, hundred percent. I think I think well going into it because um, going into the game, 
I was a bit, I was being positive. You know, we, we all were, you know, when we did our predictions last week, I think. Oh, well, Ben, you said we were going to lose, but me and Ryan were pretty positive. We were like, you know, we, we can get, yeah, you know, you know I, I, well, I was, I was thinking, I was just thinking, realistically, if we can grab a draw, like, why not? Like, a draw, I was like, that's the best case scenario. Yeah, yeah, Obviously, yeah. you know, it was far, far from that in the end. But just even, even from the offset, though, like, there was little things that, you know, straight away I saw massive. I remember Cancelo had a shot with uh, drummer Bobby Sanchez, made a good save down low to his right. Uh, that was like literally within five minutes or so, and I was like, right, here we go. You know, five <laughs> minutes, five, minute, yeah, five minutes in. Yeah, Cancelo's already had a shot, which is, um, Sanchez made a really good save. Um, so I, I think, yeah, straight from the outset, Man City were just. And I even said because uh, just as well to give it context, I was uh, did a watch along for Don Robbie's channel as well. Um, so it was yeah, like yeah, Brighton fan, that, yeah, course. versus. Um, a Man City fan, so yeah, we had Expressions who's in, who's obviously a Spurs fan in the middle, trying to sort of uh, be the be the the middle man, and then yeah, it was me me and a Man City uh, fan called Tom, and um, I said I said to him as well before we started, I was like, if we can get a draw, like obviously that's best case scenario. I'm not I'm not I'm not anticipating. And he was like, no, and, and I, was, I said one thing that I was quite surprised about was how strong Pep lined up against us but he was like well no like the Man City fans like well no actually I think it's like a sign of respect to Brighton which I was like yeah like 100% I think that's that's the, that's the case isn't it like well the fact not that put Pep out his... in the press conference before the game like he was saying that he was like um, we, you know we're, we're fighting for to be champions and I think Brighton are doing the same I know it went viral on Twitter because everyone was like <laughs> is, surely Pep's just winding us up like saying shit yeah, like that yeah, yeah, yeah. and then the thing even after match he was like they've got all the mechanisms all the mechanisms to be a top Premier League team which I, feel, I can kind of see that, but I can't see. I don't understand why he said that we're fighting to be champions. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think that, he's, that, I think he's definitely nice bantering, wasn't he? Yeah, but then yeah, that goes yeah, in with the team that he put out, and obviously they were bang up for it, City, which is why they yeah. obviously put. Yeah, straight for They wanted off, revenge, didn't they? Bit... You could tell. I think Pep really smelt blood, yeah, and he really exactly. wanted to go for us, you know. And I think it was a bit like you know I mentioned the, the Man United game yesterday. It was a bit like that. It was almost a bit personal. I think Klopp, Klopp wanted to beat. Manchester United as much as Pep wanted to beat Brighton I think after everything that happened with Graham Potter and him obviously with the celebration and obviously the fact that we won that game uh, in the way we did I think he just really wanted to make sure that he beat us and make sure we weren't going to come back and I think even at times in that second half you were thinking, you know, the the, the chant was going around, the, 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 that one, and you're thinking, you know, the great escape yeah. possibly, but nah, unfortunately it wasn't to be. Was yeah, it? no, as, as soon as it went 3-0, I I just looked round to the to the Man City fan, I was like, fair play, lad, like, there's, there's no, there's no, there's no way, because I said, I, said, I said it as well, I said, if it was 2-0, if we went to, into the half 2-0 down, there's every chance. Get an early goal in the second half, 2-1, you never know what can happen. Obviously, we did it last season when we were 2-0 down. Why can't we do it again? But then when it went 3-0, I was like, yeah, that's the nail in the coffin. Three against Man City. Yeah. I mean, they don't concede much as it is. They got the best defence along with Chelsea, I believe, uh, in mm. the league. So Early they blocks, don't concede yeah. many. So for us to score three goals, let alone to win the game four, I was like, yeah, this is done. Like, after half an hour. What but his, let's talk must, about the first goal. sound like a weird question, sorry. But like, what was oh, his, what was the City fans' celebrations like when he scored? Was he just like, sat at the side oh, like, I mean, yes? Or... Yeah, I mean... You, what I'm I'm trying, I was trying to think, like, when I watched them play uh, Bruges, they get put four past him. And you like for the, even for their first goal, you only hear just like a yeah. I can't imagine when you <laughs> score that many goals and you dominate so hard that every yeah. single goal you're going to celebrate like we would celebrate when we get a goal. No, like, Do you see the point I'm trying to make? Know, yeah, yeah, no, no, hundred percent. Well, it, it was quite impressive that they found like well, expression Zuzin was just ripping him for the fact that they even found a Man City fan. He was like, he was like, how, the, how is there even like Man City fans exist? I was like, oh mate, he's getting absolutely. That's what they used to say about um, Chelsea because they used to call them red boys because yeah. they had to pay their fans to turn up, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, um, no, he he, yeah, he cel- like he celebrated the goals like when it got to the third, like he just I think it was more you know like when you appreciate a goal and you're like oh what a goal kind of thing. I think it was the second mm. goal uh, they scored, which is actually really well worked. Well, Goal. I remember the first and the third goals were what a bit was like I was a bit like whatever. the second one was the counter attack I think where we yeah the counter attack the where they like built the build up oh, was unbelievable yeah. the sweat, it was like, yeah, well, it was was like oh, a sweaty girl really wasn't it? and he was like and that's what, the one he sort of celebrated the most because I think like yeah. I think I think Man City got to a stage now where they they can only really celebrate when it's like a proper like beautifully worked goal whereas if it's just like a tap in they're like yeah all right hmm. another one like another goal whatever but, but when, when it's a beautifully like, crafted yeah, goal when you get a second against Brighton like you know that you're gonna get try and get some yeah 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 but yeah 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 it was pretty it was pretty low key like. He didn't, he didn't go crazy as you wouldn't, like you know, with all due respect. It was Brighton versus Man City. I, I would have like... had my shirt off if, if, even when we went 3-1. <laughs> even when we got one back after the penalty. Edson gets his finger to it. I would have been, fucking come on. Oh, mate. Oh, oh, oh. mate. But we'll, we'll talk about that. But yeah, let, let's talk about the first goal first. Just because, yeah. obviously, the, the first one with Sanchez. So there's a lot of talk uh, about... Oh, wait, sorry. Yeah, before that, 
we need to talk about the thing, the, the maddest thing, the, probably the best thing out of the whole game, Lewis Dunk's clearance. That was before oh, their first that goal. That was incredible. Unbelievable. Oh, mate, I can't the believe. whole ground. The goal line. The whole ground the goal line gave a standing ovation. It. Yeah, mm, the really? whole ground gave a standing ovation. You just got up and it was just a moment of, I, like, I, I physically stood up and just we were, everyone around was just applauding. Like, <laughs> oh my God, that is just unbelievable. And not very often you see the whole Amex even make a noise. So the fact that everyone stood up and gave a standing <laughs> ovation means quite a lot. I mean, I mean, the yeah. ground was pretty much empty by 80 minutes. But um, <laughs> that's another it, conversation. Isn't it? But um, no, yeah, but, um, I, just that, what? How did that, he even get to that? I've got absolutely no idea. That's just world class from this. That was 100%. brilliant. Yeah, As yeah, anyone else, it literally just like that would have been basically like a volley into the goal. But the fact that he managed to hook yeah. it out like that, mate, unreal. If Virgil Van Dyke does that, I'm not being funny. That's being played like every single week for the rest of the year. Literally, they're going to be putting it on Sky Sports montages. Mm. It's going to be played across <laughs> Liverpool. It's going to be played on Twitter. It's going to be put on YouTube. Yeah. You name it. Like that's going to be played. Like when John Stones probably put it, it in Times Square Liverpool. somewhere as well. Yeah, a couple of years literally. ago he done it twice to Liverpool. I think John Stones like it was one at the Etihad and one at Anfield. Like, yeah, it off the line and like. It was exceptional, but that... It was everywhere, that, wasn't I'm it? Not just being biased, but it was unbelievable. Yeah, that was... Mate, the John uh, Stones one still gets shown to this day. Like, you see it on Sky, yeah. you see it, like, in places, you know, it's always that that clearance that Stones made was unbelievable. But yet, I guarantee you, that Lewis Dunk one's only shown by the club and we never see it again from anywhere else. Like, yeah. you will not Gareth see it Gareth Southgate's already well, erased it from his mind, hasn't he? Gareth Southgate was like, sorry, what? what? Didn't <laughs> see that. What happened? I blinked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah. Yeah, <laughs> literally. No, but semester. the only thing I, I think it probably will get lost in history just simply because we lost the game. Like, if if he had done that and we'd won the yeah. game, or we, you know, or we, you know, got a good point out of it, I think that would have been like, you know, boom, boom, like everyone would be talking about it, like amazing. He saved the game. He's the won the game for Brighton. But yeah, unfortunately, because we lost the game four one, no one's going to think about because you know it, we should be giving him praise for it because it was an incredible clearance. If like, we won three two goals. and he saved that goal, yeah, then there that would have exactly. been down to yeah. That's yeah. what I hate exactly, about. Exactly. That's what I hate about say. football fans, yeah. isn't it? Like it's so fickle. It's you so like else. rubbish because. You can no, be I'll like, get, oh yeah, this mean. player had a great game because he scored like this goal. But then, if they do something insane like that, and it will just be forgotten about because you didn't win yeah, the game. Yeah. It's just I don't I don't understand that when like individuals to get overlooked for a team performance. I find that really stupid. Like you know when people compare no, players I, based I on saying. trophies, I I think that is the most stupid argument you can possibly pull up in any mm. any sense of football. When someone's like, mm. yeah, but Kane hasn't won anything, well, so he can't be the best striker in the world. It's like. Like, do you realise what you're nah, saying? Yeah, do you realise yeah, how yeah, stupid yeah, yeah. that is? Like, that it's is just really like the so whole dumb. Ballon d'Or thing. I watched uh, this podcast called Pitch Side, that's Theo Bacon, the guy called Reeve that started doing it, and they made a good point because you know everyone's saying Jorginho should be get Ballon oh, yeah, d'Or because Ballon of what he won, yeah. like Italy and stuff. Yeah, was, someone made the point. It was like Emre Chan when he was at um, Bayern Munich, I think he was like he won the World Cup in 2014. And he won like the Champions League, and he won the league, and it, and he was in all those teams like playing. Oh, do you mean Sami Kadira? Do you mean Sami Kadira? Maybe it's Kadira, maybe, yeah. I think they yeah. said Emery Chan, but you're probably right, Kadira. Oh, they were like, well, yeah. surely if you use that for Jorginho, then why would it not be him? But, yeah, I don't yeah. Know. it is a bit... Yeah, no, you're right. I'm with you, Ryan. Like, yeah, because yeah, someone... Who was it? Uh, again, the Man City fan was like, oh, Carl Walker is the best right-back in the league ever. Like, you know, prove me wrong. And I was like, okay, based on what, though? Is it based on trophies? Is it based on, uh, you know, actual playing to ability? Be because that's the thing. A lot, a lot of people caveat... No, no, and I agree with him. Like, <laughs> to be fair, I, I think Carl He's got to be up there, isn't he? The best. Yeah, he's got to be... Yeah, yeah to be fair. Yeah, I, I wasn't, argue, best, I wasn't yeah. arguing against that, but the point I'm trying to make is, like... You know, what do you base it on? Do you base it on trophies? Do you uh, base it on ability? Like, you know, there's a lot of variables in deciding. Yeah, I think if you're, you know, if people compare players like individuals, I think it has to be based on them as a player, not yeah, anything else. Ability. I think you've yeah, got yeah, to base yeah, yeah. it on, yeah. Like to say like yeah, Tarek Lamptey, you know, the way Tarek played against City was unbelievable. The way he spun Grealish and all that mm. sort of thing. He's such a breath of fresh air to watch. But obviously he's a youth, you know, he's only played a handful of games. So people would be like, oh yeah, well, you can't compare him to so-and-so. But it you, it doesn't work like that. You, you can compare him based on the ability that you see of him, I think. It's not it's not what he's won or what he's achieved. It's, it's what he does when he plays. You know what I'm yeah, trying to say? It's based on ability, I no. think. But yeah. yeah. No, 100%. 100%. Um, so, so first goal then. Speaking of ability... Um, Robertson. Yeah, but... No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, Sorry. No, no, no. Before we do <laughs> this, I just want to get one thing clear. I'm not here to slate Sanchez. I know we like yeah. we kind of asked a question last week about does he have a stake in him? It's unfortunate it's happened yeah. now. Yeah, that, that is mad. I, we spoke about it. I firstly have to say, since he's come in, he's been unbelievable. He's made yeah. he's made a mistake here. 
Um, but yeah, I'm not here to slay him because he, he shouldn't. No, be no. Slated. But the thing it's is, one I, th- I think we can we can look look. We're fans. I think we can definitely talk about mistakes yeah. and players that have have a you know maybe a bad game. But you know, it gets it gets to a point where if you like abuse them or, or if you cross a line, I think that's. Yeah, where, I'm yeah. just worried yeah. that people are going to go leave Sanchez alone because. He's made one mistake. Yeah. No, but like, like, we, we know we he's Oh, mate, just yeah. ignore him. People are so annoying on Brighton so. Twitter anyway. They're just going to criticise us every two seconds. <laughs> mm. Who cares? That's the thing, yeah. You, you, can, you can criticise a player if they've had a bad, you know, a bad moment or a bad, you know, bad game. You can criticise. Because yeah. he'd only or, made loads of saves just... after it. Exactly. He, uh, you know, yeah. uh, aside from that, I think he actually had a pretty solid game. Like, he made some good saves. He got me some um, decent bonus points in FPL. There was a couple of times... That touch as well yeah, for I Sanchez. Saw... I remember it was coming over. Mate. He just flicked it over like that. That was just before he made that mistake. And you're thinking, you know, he's playing such a dangerous game of that. But, you know, he always seems to get away with it. But then he does something really stupid. Yeah. But, yeah, obviously, so, as, as this, you say, we're not going to go slate him. But, yeah, go on, man. Yeah, well, I, I've, got, I've got a stat from Opto here. So, Robert Sanchez attempted 68 passes against Man City, uh, finding a teammate with 58 of them. Apparently, since the full game-by-game data has been available since 2003-2004, both figures are record highs for a goalkeeper. Now, I don't know if that, like, how, I mean, Opta, they are pretty reliable. Yeah, Opta, However, yeah. like, I was thinking maybe, like, Edison or Allison would have that kind of record. But if that is true, and obviously we can, we need to verify no, that. But, but, but Edison and true, Allison never have a touch, though, do they? So, like, this, because they're all their, their teams are attacking all the time. So they don't really ever have much to yeah, do. So obviously, true, true. they're giving it well, back. Well, yeah. yeah uh, let's go on the basis that is, that is true. And uh, I'm sure it is. Um, yeah, yeah that is crazy. Like, to have, like, you know, we talk about his distribution. It's funny, like, everything links back to last week. We talk about, you know, he has got a bit of a mis- mistake in him and it happened we talked about his distribution like is it good enough is it not and I suppose that stat does sort of back it. he definitely has got the ability to find teammates with his passing which you know backs the backs the whole argument um, but yeah, yeah. You know, obviously aside from that first goal I thought he's pretty solid what, what did you lot reckon? I thought uh, yeah well, he was I'll, overall should we right? yes, talk Go about on. the actual mistake but yeah so yeah mm-hmm. other than that like, he made loads of decent saves um, and like I said earlier I don't know if you heard me he um, had some decent bonus points on FPL which is sweet even though he conceded <laughs> four which just goes to show yeah, the FPL is the, FPL's the, FPL's the Bible. Well, because I think if like, you make over like eight saves or something like that, right. you get bonus points. Right, yeah. um, so yeah, he done that, which is good. Like, yeah, yeah, I overall think he had a decent game, but it's like, you know, the one where it deflected and it hit his hand and went in the side net, you think could his yeah. hand have been stronger there, potentially, but, yeah. you know, it took a wicked deflection of Foden. And then, yeah, I think we should definitely talk about the mistake. Like, personally, I think it was, wasn't a foul. Because I don't no, think no, he had proper it, control it, on the ball. It wasn't a foul. It wasn't I know he had like you could see like some of the pictures. He has two hands on it, but it wasn't like he, he, he was he, holding he, he the ball at all. He, yeah, yeah, he wasn't. He didn't have the ball secured in his hands. He like no. had his hands around the ball like that, but he didn't actually secure the ball, which is then obviously a foul. Fa- that would have been a foul. But when I was watching mm. it live, I was like, that, "Yeah, there's no chance." Because we were um, like, the, obviously the VAR decision came over. Like they were checking it, reviewing it, and I was like, "Yeah, there's no chance this would get overruled because it was just if that would have been soft in my opinion." I, and yeah, I don't I mean, know about in you, the right, ground, in the stadium. Yeah. yeah, in the ground, um, I thought I thought it was a foul at first because obviously you do. But then I thought more than anything it was offside. I thought um, I thought that who was it that put the ball in the back of there? Was it Gund- Gundogan? Wasn't it? I oh, thought yeah, that he yeah. came. Gundogan, yeah, yeah, I thought he came back um, from an offside position. So I thought there's no way this counts because everyone around me was saying that's offside, surely. But clearly he wasn't. I haven't actually seen it back yet. I'm just yeah, going no, to remember. Offside. Yeah, but um, no, he wasn't. Yeah. He wasn't offside. I, I, and, and yeah, and I just don't, I don't think it was a foul. Like if that had been given, it no, I don't think it was soft. a foul. Um, yeah, I don't think no, it was no, a foul. He, I did see the foul. He, he didn't have the ball. It wasn't. Yeah. He didn't, he didn't have it. So, yeah, yeah, no foul for us. Uh, and also, yeah, it, it, was, it, was a, it was frustrating because basically as well, literally, I kid you not, about five minutes before that, I was talking to the Man City fan. I was like, yeah, like Robert Sanchez, since we, uh, you know, Matty Ryan came out of the team, since we had Bobby Sanchez, like he makes me feel so secure, makes me feel like, you know, um, no, no worries in the world. Like he's, a, he's an unbelievable keeper. And then, and I, and I was actually bigging up Gundogan as well. And then I kid you not, literally five minutes later. Yeah. I think uh, more frustrating the goal, the goal was happened. the fact was the fact that we were, we were looking all right until that point. Like, I thought we were actually, yeah. we didn't look too bad. Yeah, we were putting a few good moves together. And I thought that was the most frustrating thing, that we, we always bring these things upon ourselves and we like to shoot ourselves in the foot. Um, and when we're on the front foot, when you do something like that, it knocks the whole motivation, the whole confidence of the side. And after that, we just completely capitulated. Like, for about 20 minutes later, we were just... We were second best to pretty much everything. Every ball, um, they were tearing us apart left, right and centre. And I think, obviously, so much credit has to go, in my opinion, not only to Phil Foden, who I thought was really good, but I thought Bernardo Silva just ran the whole game yeah. completely. I thought he, he was did. fantastic. He was oh, literally. mate, he was unbelievable. He was, yeah, yeah. He, was, he was the player, like, he was the best player on the pitch, in my yeah. opinion. 
uh, man of the match. Yeah, I thought Bernardo he just Silva's absolutely unreal, rinsed yeah. us to bits. Um, and obviously Phil Foden had a who little did, run. Who did get man of the match, by the way? It. I think what? Phil Foden, yeah. I think. Or was it Phil oh, yeah, Foden? Foden. I think Foden. Breaks, didn't he? Yeah, Even I think one Foden. of his goals was like fucking deflection. I think Foden yeah. got... Yeah, that deflection was horrible as well. But no, but Brian, yeah, you're Bernardo spot on there. Bernardo Silva and Foden, they were they were un- they were the unplayable balls. at times. For that second goal, Bernardo Silva's uh, got the second assist to the Grealish that threw ball through like yeah. Melbourne and dunk. But was let's, unbelievable. Let's let's, let's talk ball. about. So one thing I did want to talk about because I I, I I said it on the live stream. I was really frustrated, not frustrated, and and it's not a criticism of Potter. Well, I suppose maybe it is a slight slight criticism, but I just what I did, what I didn't like. What frustrated me as a fan was when I was watching that. So we went one 0 down. I was like, okay, cool, that's fine. Like you know, whatever. But then the gaps for me, the gaps in that defence were just mind blowing. Like how big the, the gaps were between the centre halves and the fullbacks. Because also, I, I appreciate we play a system where our fullbacks bomb on, and and, and that's good. I like that. I, I like the fact that we're quite you know an attacking team. But then the gaps that were that were shown on on mm. on show for a good. At least two, three attacks after the first goal, before they scored their second, I was like, surely Potter's identified that and thought, right, okay, got, let's have a bit of a tactical switch, no? We've got a massive, massive gap in the team, and it's such a massive elephant in the room for the last three weeks, but it's a noticeable, noticeable gap. Right. And I think now that we play a team who have the quality of midfield that they do. I've mentioned the names, Bernardo Silva, Phil Foden, and obviously they bring on the likes of Kevin De Bruyne. They had Jack Grealish on the pitch. All of these players are world-class in their own rights, right? The fact that they're able to just run through. We only had Pascal Gross and Adam Lallana really covering. And obviously we like to play these two these two um, fullbacks coming up. But then we had to drop Duffy because if Duffy's in that side, he's getting torn apart. Uh, Adam Webster's not fully fit. You know, you've got... Essentially, two fits in the back for that team. And, I'd love to know yeah, the on. decision behind keeping Burn in. I know Burn. I'm not saying Burn was bad in the previous games because he wasn't. We've been seeing his praises. I'd love to know this, the reason why he went for Burn instead I'll, of Duffy. Like, is I was that like this is, as well? Did they do a race like a hundred meter sprint and did Dan Burn absolutely clear up the Duffy or something but like it, that? But but if you look at the starting lineup though for for Man City though, in terms of like brute, brute pace, they. Like you wouldn't say any of those players are brute pace, would you? The... No, but I would say they just they are pretty quick and agile in that respect. Yeah, yeah. If they're if they're one on one, if if Phil Foden's one on one with Duffy, he's going to spin him every single time. And I think you know any of those players, Bernardo Silva, Jack Grealish, if any of those players are one on one with Shane Duffy, he's getting absolutely skinned. I don't like this. Isn't a criticism on Duffy, but it is because if you look back on 2018, 19, <laughs> it is, it was but Duncan, it is. <laughs> when you look back on that side with Duncan Duffy. And I, I, Duffy was player of the season, I thought, and I think he won it as well. But I remember in particular, I think it was Eden Hazard we played against for Chelsea. Absolutely skinned him. Absolutely skinned him. He was not even close to him. And even in the first season, I think it was Willian and Hazard, I think. Completely done oh, for no, pace, for everything, for skill. Yeah, completely finished. And I think if, you, if you're putting it up against a side where you've got players on the same sort of level as Hazard, etc., He's going to get done. And I think it was probably the right decision to drop Duffy. I thought, you know, he's obviously represented his country but, and he's probably a bit jaded as well. Yeah. Then putting in Dan Byrne, who is an out-and-out centre-half, right? That's what he's that's what he's paid to do. He's a left-sided centre-back. Mm. We haven't got the middle man in, in Adam Webster to really help out with that at all. Um, so it's just yeah, him and Duffy. You could argue that, that was a big miss. Yeah, and they're not, they're, not a, they're not a partnership that's been formed, really. Duncan Byrne, I don't think they've even played together on their own before this. Mm. So, but the weird thing though, Ron, is like, <laughs> go on. Duffy's on this great form and then he, this is, even, yeah. like, he even scored over the international break. So then why would you, why would you this is, this interrupt is my thinking, that yeah. and not play him in a game that's where his form but I, sp- I suppose then it's like, on. then it's like what we talked about. It's like, okay, Dan Burns playing really well and then so is Shane Duffy. It's like, he, if I felt like why not play them both and then I don't know uh, take a Veltman out the side or I don't know I don't know like I feel like it was a bit harsh on Duffy that's that's all like I, I'm not saying it was a wrong decision or the right decision I just felt it was a bit harsh like seeing Duffy on the bench after how well he's played in the last few weeks and you know mm. got a couple of goals and playing well for Ireland like his confidence high you know why would you not put him in that game I don't know it was I, a, just think, I was um, just a bit I was a bit confused that's I, I think yeah. I do I, I do think I backed the Duffy decision I've got to be honest because we said it at the time as well we said like you know Duffy coming out and I, I can think there's so many occasions where Duffy gets done for skill and pace because he's a he's a he's a he's a Brexit centre back right he's a no nonsense centre half he's going to chuck a challenge in here and there but that's not going to work against Manchester City who are going to just tap it around you that he's going to dive in he's going to play a little one two and he's through you know it's as simple as that with them they are mm. too yeah, good can for, a, for a player like yeah, Shane but Duffy. Then, but then yeah. on on that point though on that point you talk about like you know players getting beat uh, for skill pace whatever. 
Then you could argue, though, Dan Byrne, like, not not saying in the last sort of uh, couple of weeks, whatever, but like historically, he's been shown that he can that can happen to him as well. So mm. again, he I, has, I, yeah, I, I feel like for more... some reason, I think. Yeah, I think Dan Byrne's got a bit more technical ability than Shane Duffy. Definitely, that's, I don't know. Yeah, especially with hundred percent. Yeah. He's got. Fair, I think. Fair, I think yeah. Byrne's got a lot more to his that's game more, than Shane Duffy does. Thinking. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Byrne can obviously fair. play on the left, and he can play centre half. I mean, people can slate him, but he's more versatile. He's more agile than um, Shane Duffy is, and I think that's it's, it's a harsh reality because obviously everyone's yeah. gonna, you know, everyone loves Duffy, but no one likes Byrne, and that's how it is. But. I think with, with with this decision, I, I backed it 100%. And I think, OK, yes, we still lost 4-1. But that was only on the back of a few mistakes and they punished us yeah. heavily for it. I wouldn't say yeah, it was I, I more of a tactical yeah. disaster class in any way. No, 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 definitely. Yeah. I, I just, just uh, going back to the original point, it was just, yeah, I, I was quite frustrated to see as a fan, like how many gaps we had, like how open we were. And I just yeah. felt like... And I think that comes down to the I'm lack of... The lack of Bissouma, to be honest, I think that's where that yeah, comes yeah, from. Yeah, them yeah. gaps, them that that holding midfielder that's been so consistent for us and so important. Yeah, sure. And there's no mistake that since he's gone, we haven't won a game, and we've only scored one goal since he's gone. Um, maybe yeah, two yeah, goals yeah. actually since he's gone. I mean, there's no mistake in that. It's taking literally the cog out of the clockwork. And after you've yeah. got rid of that, you've got to then make do. And we haven't made do really, have we? I mean, I thought Moda was lost for the majority of that game. Didn't look yeah. up to it at all. And I always praise Moda. Um, it was just it was just a complete lesson I think it was a complete lesson but it's yeah. nice to be humbled yeah, yeah. by a team like City um, because no, 100%. you know imagine we got imagine we got smacked five by Watford against a former player who got a hat trick could you imagine that yeah, that's, that's, that's just, that is yeah, peak depression true. for Everton fans that one right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no that, that was funny and then uh, going on to the, the third um, uh, the third goal of course oh no so yeah we, we talked about the counter attack the second goal was beautiful from Man City like you can't really you put your hands up to, you know, it was one of those guys you put your hands up like yeah fair play good goal good yeah. goal but then the third one was a bit I was when I was watching I was a bit like not like it was such a horrible goal to concede yeah, it was so, scrappy so demoralising it was scrappy yeah, I saw like, a couple it, heads drop as well. Like, I remember that very clearly Veltman's yeah. head dropped when it went in. And I, was I think, like, yeah, was that, I mean, was I that, was that the goal that. as well where like Sanchez started punching the, the post as well? Yeah, he punched the post. Sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I think so Dunk squared up to a fan strong. as well, didn't he? Apparently he went like, right he? up to a fan. What? Yeah, because someone was shouting loads of abuse at him and he sort of just stared at him like that and was just like proper giving him the eyes really? and was just like basically shaking. Like, I don't, I don't like fans, right, who start slating the team. It really, really annoys me. You're there as a supporter. Especially when you're, you're playing against a... Man City of all teams. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> against yeah, Man yeah, yeah. City, mate. Like, do you know what I mean? It's just ridiculous. But yeah, people that yeah. start slating the team um, and start shouting abuse at our own players. I mean, don't even shout abuse at the arrival team. Like, just just admit that they're better than us. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, yeah no, I don't exactly, get that. Exactly. Like, oh, it's yeah, just yeah. it just winds me no, up 100%. so much. You're not real fans. During during a game during a game, you're there to support. Like, you're not there to slay mm. or to abuse or to criticize, know, but don't do it abuse. It's yeah. not. It's just stupid. Yeah. No. Exactly. It's stupid. Exactly. 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 And I'd love to um, see so that, yeah, that guy who was. I'd love. Sorry. I'd love to see that guy whoever it was shouting all the abuse at Dunk. Try and do better against Phil Foden and against Gundogan <laughs> yeah. against, you know what I mean like yeah. I would love to see Greenish. him try and stop that goal from going in <laughs> so. yeah, do, you remember, do, you remember, do you remember back in the day when um, Harry Redknapp sent a fan on do you remember he played a fan yeah. a fan yeah. was basically a fan was like barking yeah. orders um, from, the, from the sidelines and uh, yeah, he was like, well, if you think you could do a better job, why don't you come on? Why don't you come on the pitch? Yeah. So he, like let him come, Get like you let him play. Yeah. <laughs> so like we should just do that one game. It's like, all right, do you want to play against Foden and uh, yeah. De Bruyne and Bernardo Silva? Do you want to? You know, come on. But yeah, so the third goal was like it was a killer. When it? it was, it was a bit of a sort of like dagger through the heart. It was yeah, one of those where I was just like, yeah, suck game over. It's, yeah, game over. Like if we could go into the, into the half two 0 down, every hope. You know, we've done it before. Mm. Why not? Um, and then, yeah, unfortunately, it was just a yeah, it was the final blow. Uh, but then we came out second half and fair play to the boys. Like we showed, we showed a bit of fight. Gave it a good go. uh, we were the better team. Yeah, we were the better team. We were the would better team. To, for... Would love to know what Potter said because he doesn't. Look, I can't imagine losing his call too much. But like, and you, and you argue maybe he didn't lose his call. But I'd love yeah, to know what he said. He would to have. Because you can't argue, you can't shout at someone for being three 0 down to City. I don't think. No, exactly, exactly, exactly. Uh, but no, it was, it was just frustrating more than anything. But then yes, it came out the second half. It was the changes. We were a much better team. Yeah, the changes and Wepu looked really good. The new Lamptey was Wepu incredible. Was really good. Like Lamptey, mm. Lamptey was unbelievable. Like just the fact that he was sort of back to his best just from that even half an hour. Against City as well, um, you know, it's not so, like he was even against yeah. like Norwich. He came up against City and performed really, really well. Um, yeah, but yeah, I, I've got to be honest, Mepu, how... Mepu was a nice, nice surprise. Actually, I thought he was really good. Yeah. Apart yeah. from a couple he of looked passes, like a different player from when he against Leicester. Yeah. But, um, no, but how how much of a relief was it to see Lamptey like play that? You know, I'm sure he, I doubt he's listened to what we've said and listened to us being like, is he going to be the same player? 
But you know, mm. he's gone out and done that against Man City, like one of the best teams in the world. He's well, he's definitely shut me up. But I think he probably is. <laughs> I don't think he's lost any talent. You can clearly see that. <laughs> no, no, hundred percent. No, no, no I, I don't think it was. I don't think for me anyway, personally. I don't think it was ever a case of losing talent. It was like physically, will he be able to? So let's say like well, that's what that's again. what I mean. Yeah. That's yeah, like, I mean, like like for example, like right. I don't know, two months down the line, will he get another hamstring injury? That that's like in oh, my yeah. mind, it's like fingers crossed it pace, doesn't happen. But maybe. that's just my. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But 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 like, but like technical ability, I don't think you're ever gonna sort of lose that, are you? Like it doesn't just no, disappear not. overnight. Uh but no, yeah, no, that was that was that. lovely to see. Uh, it was very wholesome content, wasn't it? Mm. And uh, just a thought, oh, boys, and I know we tweeted we tweeted this, the thought of Kukurea and Lamptey on either wing is just uh, like Yeah, that is that is that way there. It's nearly a here. Thing of beauty. Yeah, we're very close yeah, yeah. to it now, so it's nice. But no, I think um second half, like we have every reason to be proud of it, and I think um, okay, we lost 4-1 and, you know, it looks really, really bad. But up until the Mares goal, I thought the second half, we were the better team. Obviously, City did lay off a little bit. Um, so, yeah. you know, yeah, there was a course, bit of that yeah, involved yeah. too. But, but at the I same didn't, time, like, it was nice not, that we come back. I don't think they back. meant to because, like, when they walked out, you see Phil Foden, they're all like, oh, come on, boys, let's keep yeah, going, let's yeah, keep yeah, going. Yeah. They were all saying yeah. that. I think that's like so a, like, another yeah. respect sign, isn't it? Like, another sign of respect to us. Like, you know, we're I think it was nice to see us. We're not Norwich. <laughs> it was nice to see us coming out with a bit of fight you know it was nice to, yeah. to have us like you know if we just lie down second half and accepted defeat because it's very 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 easy to come out and you're 3-0 down and just think let's just end this game it's just pointless Stop, but shot. we came out fighting and, and genuinely like really tried to go for a draw and okay it was a, it was yeah. a long way off but we, we came out fighting for it and looked like we were really up for it mm. and the that's all you want to see well, you know any other yeah. day, you know, when it goes under Edison and kind of bounces up yeah, over yeah, the bar. Yeah, yeah. Any other day, that was probably going to the back of the net. Like that was. I thought it was. Yeah, that would have. Really when, 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 when I was watching, when I was watching it, I literally, I, I jumped up. <laughs> I literally jumped and went, yeah, like that. And then I realised no it, it went over that, oh, and then literally, fuck. everyone, like the boys were just like, "What are you doing?" I was like, "Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry." I, I just got a bit excited. I thought, yeah, I That's thought I was in. It was, it was a good story. Celebrating a half girl. But it was funny, it was funny as well. So like again on the stream, the expressions was like, oh, like uh, oh, um, in the second half, Edison's made a, a lot of saves, and I was like, okay, with all due respect though, we, we, we're just hitting it at him. So when Trossard did take that shot and actually you know put a bit, bit to the side, I was like, okay, good. Now we're actually like testing him, right? Whereas mm. he was just making sort of standard saves like to his chest. It was nothing really special. But then yeah, after that, we were actually testing him, which was really yeah. nice to see. Yeah. And then just testing quickly him as well, so much so. Oh, no, go on then. Yeah. What are you saying? No, sorry, just 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 quickly as well. Um, we talk about the whole fighting after half time and stuff. Um, again, I don't want to bring up Norwich because we, we've slated them a lot in the past, but they were three 0 down at really? half time. Have we? Uh, they, 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 they were three 0 down at half time, and they ended up losing seven 0 So all I'm saying is that we could have easily gone down that route. We could have gone, you know, uh, battering. They could have battered us five, mm. five six, seven 0 easily because the way they were playing that first half was like yeah. bam- bamboozled it was, us. It but the good. fact, yeah, again, just to sort of reiterate the fact that we came back uh, and did that. But yeah, anyway, um, going on to the, the penalty as well. Uh, it was a clear cut for me uh, as soon as I saw it. I was like, yeah, penalty and the. Mm. Plays proved that I think no one's got any kind of uh, yeah, Edison. I think not. Edison was like, Oh, it wasn't a penalty. I was like, What? <laughs> I was like, Basically, you like rugby tackled him without his arms, you just like kind of like <laughs> dove into him. <laughs> and why did he do it as well? Like, he was literally, man, Weppy was going nowhere, but, yeah, he just nowhere. Nowhere. taking him out. I guess, I guess you probably get when you're Edison, like people like Edison or Allison, you probably get so bored because you barely have anything to do normally. Like, you <laughs> yeah. might think, Well, I've actually got an opportunity to show off something here, and then you cock yeah. it up like that. Yeah. Or he's like, oh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this game a bit tasty. No, yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> I, yeah. I'm just gonna Give spice the boys this a bit game of a pick up, me up a bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, get the boys. Um, but no, it was, it was a good penalty. Like, as in the way uh, McAllister struck it was really nice. But then, yeah, I mean, Edison could have really, I don't know. Alexis tried to be so think. precise with his penalty, and it was really worrying because you know, with yeah. penalties, you want to just see him smack it. You know, there's, you don't need to try and place it or try and take it like a free kick. You just need to get make sure that hits the back of the net. You know, it's not like you've got yeah. a wall to beat or anything, or or curl it around somewhere. Just smack it. Make sure that hit that ball hits the back of the net, and that's all that you need to worry yeah. about. But with McAllister, I, I was really worried because the way he went up to it, it was almost like he's taking a free kick, and the way you know he tried to curl it in, I was just thinking, mate. As great as it looks, just try and just, just make sure that ball hits the back of the net. Don't try and mm. curl it into the top corner. It doesn't matter. Just as long as it goes in, that's all that matters, you know. But yeah. it, was decent, it was a decent penalty. Though. Yeah, it was, neither did I. Obviously, yeah. Edison, no. Edison done well enough to get a hand on it. But yeah, it was yeah. <laughs> despite him getting a hand on it, it was a decent place penalty. No, I was a bit worried that he was going to save it. Though, I've got to be honest. Yeah, 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 and no, I think I think we all were to be fair. Um, and then of course the final goal, Mares. Good, good finish. To be fair, um, I love that the tone of voice. Talk about penalty. 
Oh, then of course the final goal. Yeah, then they've got another <laughs> yeah. one. Yeah, no. The thing is, though, I thought that yeah. that goal was so it was so undeserved, and it makes it look so much worse than it is. I think the, the scoreline yeah. flattered them in the end. Yeah, like, it, it, I didn't think that it was a four-one game in reflection. You know, obviously the first half we got battered for thirty minutes, but then after that, I didn't think it was a four-one game at all. It, we looked pretty nice. strong. I, I thought there wasn't. I, I thought um, we can go into man of the match and stuff in a minute, but I thought Adam Lallana was just different class. I thought he absolutely ran it for us. I thought. Um, Tarek Lamptey obviously did really well but I thought Ta- Adam Lallana he's just I always go on about him I know but I just think he's absolutely fantastic I think he's such a good player he's such a good man to have on the on the pitch um, and people like to slate him because he's an easy target because people just I know I think I think maybe people would put him too high up and then expect him to be Lionel Messi but what he does is so good and you very very re- rarely see him you know, put a stray pass or anything. Um, and I thought that second half in particular, he was everywhere. I thought everyone was everywhere, really. He was always chasing, running in there and not just always being flary, but he was always putting a challenge mm. in as well. Um, so, yeah, for he, for, for me, I thought he was man of the match for us. And, really? yeah, second half, I just thought we were, yeah, definitely. And I thought second half, we just we just looked better team. And I, I thought 4-1, that just makes it look so much worse. Yeah, I would, actually, have, I would have know? accepted 3-1. 3 1 away. Yeah, from, yeah I agree. Yeah, take, 3 take, 1's take. like, it's okay. You've been you've been smacked a bit, but it's, it's not too bad. But 4 1 makes it look yeah, like yeah. you've been really battered, yeah. even though we, we weren't yeah. that Cause, bad. Because we, we talked about it, didn't we, last week? How, um, what we've only, well, since 2017, since we, since we got promoted, we've only uh, beaten Man City once, which was last season. And then every most games have been like 4 5 nil, yeah. like, you know, 4s and 5s. And so, yeah, it was one of those games where, like, you want to try and avoid another kind of big score. But, I mean, yeah, still, look, we, we know what happened in terms of. What actually happened? So the scoreline looks very favourable, but second half we were we were much the better side, mm. and we came out fighting, which was always good. To Shout see. out to um, um, to Solly March as well. I thought Solly March had a good game. Um, again, I, I think in the last couple of years he's just proven that he's a good player now. Uh, he's definitely, you know, it was those question marks over whether he's Premier League standard. I remember, and now it's just like you know he's definitely one of our better players. Yeah, um, it's no, just 100%. I find I still find so frustrating about him, and I, I said it at the time. Um, I think he cut, he cut in and shot, shot with his left foot. And that's his stronger foot, right? And he, we've seen him score goals in the past from distance. He's always got a decent strike on him. But it's such an awful effort. It's gone way over the bar. And he's only like 20 yards out. And you just think, an out-and-out winger, Premier League winger, how can you not get a shot from 20 yards just on target, a minimum? How can you, you not get that goal, shot on target? We spoke about it. We always remember his goal, well, obviously against Villa more recently. And then his goal... Um... That like forty yard or thirty yard, I guess. Yeah, like pre pre season, wasn't it? And he banged it top yeah. bins. But I haven't yeah. been impressed with his shooting, apart from those a few yeah. times. Yeah, I was about to say. Not, yeah. It doesn't really seem he, like he's, he's got it. Uh, shooting back in his thing. championship days. I think. Do you remember the MK Don's goal? This is such a random memory of mine. But he smacked it like twenty five yards oh, out. Okay. He smacked into the top bins. Um, and there's a couple of goals that comes to mind. I think there was one <clears> against <throat> Millwall. I don't remember. Not not uh, the yeah. uh, not the, the FA, FA Cup. Cup. Not, not the, the free no, game. not the oh, FA not Cup. Cricket, no, no oh, we're okay. talking back in a uh, championship. But yeah, there's there's a few goals. I can't remember who that's against. Actually, it might be Mill or something like that. But yeah, he's always seems to score some decent long ranges like back in a championship. But since he's got to the Prem, it just seems like his shooting seems half hearted. I don't know how to explain it because mm. obviously I'm not no, a Premier I League mean. winger. I, I can't I, be too I critical. Like, I feel but... like I feel like sometimes his decision making as well. It's like instead of shooting just lay it off or do a through ball or cross it. Like, I feel like sometimes he shouldn't... Like, I remember, the, was it the game um, uh, the game before last, I think it was? I can't remember now. Anyway, I don't think it was Norwich. It was the game before that. Was it Leicester? I can't remember anyway. Anyway, there was a, there was a moment where I, I was like, he, he shot and, it, and again, it was a poor, poor effort. I think it went like, way wide quite high and i was just like he could and he could have slotted in um mope for a shot and i was just like just little right. things like that like his decision making at times i think i feel um, like can just be improved improved a little bit march is march's best thing that he does that this is without a doubt his best attribute is the way he's able to dribble past players very very easily he looks like he keeps the ball to his feet gets away from a player and then puts it across the box very low and hard that's probably his best thing that he does it's so good what he does there but you just need to see him mm. do it a little bit more. And I think the goal that against uh, Manchester United, where Murray flicked it over De Gea, that goal comes into mind quite quickly. You know, he, he cuts yeah. across and then puts it across really low and hard. And he did it again yeah, against yeah. Norwich. Um, and Mope obviously missed it from about two or three yeah, yards out. Times against Norwich, um, yeah, yeah, that that move he does is so good. And it mm. it's just you want to see it a little bit more. But yeah, I think with March's March's shooting is so frustrating to watch because he does the hard bit of beating a player. And as I say, for a, for a out and out Premier League winger to not get a twenty yard shot on target at the minimum, at least six, seven times out of ten. 
I just think you need to you need to be that's... hitting your shots at least, you know. Well, like, I think that's why I'd Bruno rather Fernandes label him. Liverpool, wasn't it? <laughs> Do you remember, well, yeah, like, the, in the first five five minutes mm. when he uh, literally blazed was on goal and he blazed it over, yeah. But that's why I would I would say Solly March is a left wing back. I would I think because because he lacks him in his shoot, shooting ability, I'd say he's more of a left wing back rather than like an actual winger yeah. in the Premier League. Mm-hmm. I'd say maybe yeah, you could argue that. that he's a decent winger in the Championship. But yeah, the thing is though, like what he does, like, what he does on the wing is so good. His crossing's good. His beating a player's yeah. good. His pace is good. It's just his shooting's down. <laughs> I mean, it's it's, it's mm. really bad. Um, but. Yeah, I mean, because the frustrating thing, as I say, is we know we've got it in. He know we've got he's got it in him even, and you know we've seen it before of him taking on the twenty five yarders and bang it into the bottom corner. Um, it's just I don't know where it's gone. I don't know, Solly, if you're listening, mate. Please just just get your I shots. I most target, thing is though, right? Most most <laughs> most wingers most wingers in the prem, I would say they're mo- most of them are like inside forwards nowadays, like, rather yeah. than like your your normal your traditional winger. But I think Solly March is your traditional winger. I don't yeah. he's not yeah he's not got any. Inside forward ability is like I, I hate to no. compare him to Salah. I'm not cutting and banging those kind of players do. Yeah. Oh, Salah's yeah, different yeah. level, isn't he? Well, we've got to face him oh, next man. week. I don't even want to think about that yet. Oh, <laughs> mate, yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about <laughs> it later. <laughs> but... Yeah, but yeah. Before we go into the preview, uh, final thing we did want to discuss, and uh, we're not going to go into the details of what what may or may or not no. have happened. But with uh, obviously even Basuma, he's been on the bench for the last two games. Um, so it's only right, like we discuss sort of why. Uh, well, we, basically, Ben, you got a question, right? You, well, you got like a topic. That you oh want yeah, to I just want to put. I say uh, a point just with yeah. it. Yeah, go on. So basically, like <clears throat> in my head, you either play Basuma or you don't. I feel like having him on the bench is the weird, like the last thing you do. Well, personally, in my opinion, I would keep keep him away from the match they scored until it's cleared or whatever from in court. But why would you have him on the bench? Like that's wasting a space on the bench for someone else that might actually be able to make an effect yeah. on the game. But if you're going to have him on the bench, surely then you bring him on. Like what? What's mm. thinking about having him on the bench? I really do not understand R- that whatsoever. Go on, Ryan, you you kick us off. I'm not mate. playing him. Sorry, yeah. Do you want to kick us off? What are your thoughts? You go. Oh, yeah, I can you go first. Right. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, no, um, no, Ben. I, I completely get where you're coming from with regards to the whole situation. Like, what? Yeah, you feel like he's. Let, let's be. Let's not beat around the bush. He is our best midfielder at the club. Facts. Um, with regard, in, in, especially in his position, there's no one else that does his job. Like Ryan mentioned earlier, we see yeah. visible gaps and vis- like he he's a big miss when he doesn't play. So if he's on the bench, or, or well, if he's clear to play, why don't you start him? <laughs> like that, mm. that for me, that just doesn't make sense. If, if he is clear to play and the clubs, you know, done done their checks and done all the due diligence that they need to do, whatever may or may not have happened, and they've done all the checks and everything's been sorted. Why aren't you playing him then? If he's if he's on the bench, it's one or the play, other, surely. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, uh, yeah, I'm the same as you, Ben. It's either put him in the team, start him, or just don't play, don't have him in the squad at all. Just simple. But then before just before you go, Ryan, other. before you say your point, I feel like the only thing I looking from the club's perspective, maybe they're put, maybe they're involving him in the match day squad because they are trying to that. Maybe they think that's going to help clear his name for whatever he's done if he has or he hasn't. That's like maybe unless it's like a tactical thing to help him get his name cleared. Or maybe they're just saying, look, we believe Basuma because he's our player. Until he's what? proven guilty, then he's our yeah. player, and we we trust his. But then, but then, opinion. but then, just just stick him out of the squad. Then, if you like, I, I get what you're saying. Like, yeah. they're trying to make a stand, but it's like there's other ways of doing that. There's like, yeah. do 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 a public statement saying, yes, we back the player, but he's going to be outside the squad for X amount of time. Or mm. you know, I think there's other ways of doing it than sticking him on the bench. Like, I just find it a bit. It's yeah, really bit strange. Odd. But yeah, I right, would right, find it on. weird being on the bench with him. As well, I don't know. Yeah. Personally, yeah. If I was a player. Go on, Ryan. Go on, Ryan. What, what, what are your thoughts on it all? Um, I mean, I I don't know what's going on with him. Uh, I think with the fans, maybe it feels like he's maybe testing the waters a little bit. Um, that's what I felt. So I went to Norwich. I haven't missed a game pretty much this season. I missed two games, and in the last mm. few games that uh, Bissouma's sort of had his controversies, or whatever. Um, He's been on the bench, I think, two or three times now, isn't it? I think it's two, yeah, two times. Twi- I think it's twice. Yeah, yeah. twice. Yeah. I think it's twice. Against yeah. Norwich, he was warming up, and the whole Norwich end gave him a load of stick. And there's there's people trying to jump the fence, trying to you know really get you know attack him. And it feels like are they doing it to test the water? And obviously, the our fans were singing his chant. I didn't sing his chant. I haven't sung his chant mm. at all. Promise you that. Um, no, I wouldn't. But I just think I I don't get. The I don't get that the singing the chant I don't get that at all. That's no, um, that's more wrong. In my I opinion. find that a, I find that a bit weird. Um, but mm. my only thinking is: Are they testing the waters? Do they believe him? Do they think that 
he's right. I don't know because, mm. as I say, yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to say things that are wrong because I don't know what's happened. Yeah, yeah we can't, um, spe- we can't speculate. We can't yeah, speculate. We can't speculate at all. What's um, yeah. As you know, I wasn't. Um, I wasn't anywhere. I don't know what has happened. Um, but mm. I think I just find it really strange. I agree. I think putting him on the bench. You're. You know, we wanted to avoid avoid this this conversation for a long time but if you're putting him on the benches in a squad we've got to talk about the squad that's on the you know that's, yeah, that's yeah, there yeah, that's why it's you know so it, it, it's bringing it it's bringing it to the attention I think and I think if you want to keep the eyes off him why do you put him in the squad I don't know I think yeah. if you're if you want to if you want to keep it under wraps it debate, which I think, it? yeah and I think if you want to yeah. keep him under wraps and you want to you want to keep quiet which is what I would do if I was in charge of whatever I would want to keep it away from things and I'd want to, you know, until, until there's a chance where you can play him and it, you know, it's safe to do it. But until that point, I think, you know, you're, you're, you're almost stirring the pot. And I think maybe it is testing the waters, mm. seeing if, you know, how fans react to it. Obviously a, a large portion of our fans. What well, city on. got stick for playing Mendy whilst all of his stuff was going and there was, on. Whilst yeah, they exactly. knew about was... all the other confirmed, um, yeah. Sorts that he'd done. And they continue to play him, so like that, and they got a lot sick for that. Once he was then mm. fully charged, and there was talk away, of so City getting you know really heavily us. punished for it, wasn't there? I mean, and I don't blame that. I think City should be punished for it. I think I think if you if they're playing someone that they know full well that has done these things, I think they mm. they should get points to that. I think that they should get because we spoke punished. to that City fan um, before the awards. I mean, your mate Louis, and he was saying that he yeah. already had like seven other allegations confirmed before the final yeah. one where he got put away. So look, exactly. Yeah, strange. Um, yeah, just, shout out Louis. Just, but yeah, just don't get it. Don't get yeah, it. So just quickly then. Um, I, I thought it'd be interesting just to get a bit of uh, a points of view from other people as well. So um, I've, done, I've done a bit of a, a search on Twitter and I've just found a couple of things I'm going to read out and we can just discuss. Obviously, I won't go into it again. Like if there's certain bits that I don't think we should read out, I won't read out. But I'll, I'll read out like, the bits that are, are, are relevant to this conversation. So, uh, for example, we are Brighton uh, on Twitter. Uh, if Basuma is fit, he starts. If you're comfortable involving him, you le- uh, sorry, if you aren't comfortable involving him, you leave him out completely. Having him as an unused sub two weeks in a row smacks of the club wanting to honour innocent until proven guilty, but also not wanting to to ruin that image by playing him i think that's yeah, pretty literally. spot on right <laughs> like, on, i think i think on, yeah, yeah we, we, it's pretty much echoes what we've been saying uh and then as uh, another one as well sort of same as sort of similar to what we've been saying uh, i don't understand the basuma stance if they're confident enough to put him on the bench why not just play him feels like it should be an all or nothing which again reiterates but then a different one as well uh just the last one as well uh Eve basuma being on the bench for brighton is an absolute embarrassment to the club the premier league and f- uh the premier league and football as a whole i'm up- utterly disgusted at it uh, appalling uh, I won't read out the other bits, mm. but yeah, that was another another sort of uh, point of view. But yeah, so it yeah, sort of echoes points. a lot of what we've been saying. It really it's yeah. sort of been echoing what we've been saying, uh, and it's interesting to see what other people are saying on on online as well. Um, I, but I'd yeah, like to think I mean, a look, lot of people kind of agree with what we're saying. I feel like that's the most yeah. ethical decision. Would just I, th- I think, I think to, yeah. to summarize, yeah, to summarize, I, th- I think personally for me, it's all or nothing. You either put him in the starting lineup, play him. Or just don't put him in the squad at all because you just like Ryan and you mentioned Ben. You just get unnecessary attention, unnecessary hate, unnecessary uh, aggressiveness I think towards the, um, the player and the club. The, um, the trouble for us just... is like as as podcasts, as creators, whatever you want to call us, it's frustrating for us. I don't know if you guys have got it, but particularly my Twitter and stuff, I get so much stick, so much stick. And if people are gonna people are gonna listen to this, yeah, like. Mm. I, if people from the club listen to this, we we I get so much abuse from Palace fans, from um, City fans, from Norwich fans, not just about the game, but about Bissouma since this has happened. Mm. About from not from Arsenal fans, and this is going to be a little rant here. I've turned my DMs off. I went private on Twitter because, and I don't normally let things like that get to me. But when it's about this sort of thing, I think it's so unfair to have people like us. Who obviously avoid the situation because we don't want to get involved, get which I think is fair enough. Yeah, yeah. But I think, you know, when it's coming to us about these sorts of levels of allegations, I think, and then you go put them in the squad, it's it's bringing it on people like us who put ourselves in the limelight for it. And obviously, you know, we're not getting anything out of it apart from you know just enjoying it, putting out content. But we're getting the abuse for it, and I think it's so it's such a weird thing that they want to cause this sort of controversy when there's no there's no clarification from anyone as to what's going on and i mean I, people that yeah. I, I don't know no one actually knows what's going on no one so i feel like there needs to be some I, sort of clarity over it you know 
Uh, am I right in saying that the club have still not released a proper statement yet? Like, as in a form, no, we've never released like, a statement. I believe, I believe I the there's club... a hearing on like November third, which is when right, I guess okay. maybe they'll make a decision then. Whether yeah, he can, mm. um, I mean, look, I, I get that. Maybe, okay, yeah, uh, fair enough. The club probably are waiting just for more clarity on the situation. Fair enough, mm. that, that might be the case. Not the club's However, fault at all. It's it's more um, no, no, no. However, though, it would be nice clarity, just... you know. Well, no, well, well no. Well, I think I think that's that, that's key, though, right? So it'll be good just to get some kind of clarity from the club. So, like, even like a like a short paragraph saying, right, this is the situation. This is why we've done the decision we've made. Blah blah blah, blah the, and then we're going to wait until the third of November until we know more, kind of thing. Just just to give us an update as yeah, fans. I agree. Uh, and you know, other other people, you know, other other fan bases as well can then see that statement and be like, okay, right. So this is the situation. Blah blah blah. So yeah. Anyway, let, let's wrap up because I, I, yeah, I don't want us to get sort of too too deep into this. But just to, to summarize, yeah. Uh, yeah, like an all or nothing. You know, I would do one or the other. Uh, but yeah, and, and I think we can all agree he has been a massive miss to the team. However, you know. Yeah, let's see what happens. Let's see what transpires. But fingers crossed. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Right, final thing then, boys. We've got two previews now. We've got, yeah, we've got the two. midweek EFL game uh, with Leicester. Oh, yeah. And yeah, yeah. we've got, got, got uh, the Premier got... League. We play, so uh, play Leicester every week, don't we? Yeah, yeah I swear to God, we actually <laughs> played so many times. <laughs> um, so, so, yeah. we got, so we've got Leicester in midweek. Let's start off with that quickly. Uh, we're probably going to play a second string team, I'm assuming, again. It'll probably be, um, you know, the, the young lads, which is great to see. I like I like seeing all those young boys play, like the Robertses yeah. and the uh, the Richards and the, who else we got? Uh, even like the Fergusons and stuff like that. You know, they're, they're great prospects. Yeah, that'd, be, that'd be cool to see. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed we get a good result. I think, I think uh, you know, I, I'll be honest, it depends on what, what team Leicester play. But if they play a strong side and we play our second eleven, then yeah, it's not going to look too rosy for us. But <laughs> if they also play a, a <laughs> they also play a bit of a, you know, a bit of a second string team, then there's no reason why why we can't. I might be, be wrong, but uh, I feel like this is a kind of a competition that Leicester would look at and say, let's go for it. <clears throat> you know, yeah, they haven't really I had the best so of starts too, in the yeah. Premier League, but it's mm. one of, so it's one of them things where they go, let's just put some effort into this cut because and they've yeah. hit some form well, of that's a, eleven there. I mean, they beat yeah, Man I mean, that United, Pats and Dakar, Brentford. Yeah, Dakar. They obviously yeah. won in the Europa League as well, so they're they're going to be a bit fired up, I think. And obviously, if they do put a, a decent side out, I mean, I don't yeah. think we well, will. I don't, I don't really know what to something. expect, but I don't think we will put too much out. Well, who did we play in the first, the, the last um, round? Uh, Swansea. Cardiff, wasn't it? Swansea. 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 Yeah, Swansea. Yeah. God, that was yeah. me, and, me and Ben went to that, and I was bored yeah, out of my mind. Feels like last time ago. So yeah, I mean, I don't I don't really know what to expect to be honest. I mean, if we put out a decent side. Um, the the Swansea game was just a professional performance, wasn't it? It was two 0 and that was about it. Um, but I don't think it'll be as simple as well, that. Aaron Connolly scored a brace. Aaron Connolly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Brace, yeah. yeah. Connolly, yeah. Where's, Connolly. Where's, where's he? Lacard, yeah. What's happened to him? Where's he been? Yeah, what's he's on the bench. Saying? Like, uh, was, was he on the bench? Oh, not Connolly. Connolly was on the bench. Connolly was, was on the bench. Yeah, yeah, but no. like, why, why yeah, is he not coming on anymore? Like, what is it? Even as an impact sub, why is he not getting played? Yeah, it's it's a strange one. It is. To be fair, he's not really going to do much against City, was he? Yeah. If you're no, going to bring yeah, Neil off, I you think you then weird. bring Conley on. But, but yeah, it's a bit strange. Mm. But maybe maybe think, they're saving Neil, maybe saving Neil for Leicester. Maybe that, that might be a clue. Of, do you know what's Neil's annoying, actually? Play. I've seen a lot of people slating Mope again. And apart from really? the Norwich miss, I don't get what you're slating him for. I don't I don't understand the Mope abuse. And I, I also saw people saying Potter out. I, I hope they're not being serious. But no, I saw people... No, I saw that's, people that's, that's a joke. That's a joke. I saw people um, really, really slating Mope, saying, you know, he, he's a pathetic number nine and stuff. But I don't understand. <laughs> he's had a, I thought he's had a good game pretty much in every game he's played. You know, Norwich was... You know, he wasn't great in Norwich, to be fair. But... I don't, I don't know what's done wrong. I find it really weird. And obviously against no, City, bringing him it. off, bringing him off makes it you know, people are going to attack him then and, and then give him abuse. And I feel for Neil because he gets, he gets a lot of stick. He's like our new Dale Stevens. And I don't understand why, why he gets so much abuse because we, ha- it's not like he's meant to be, no one expects him to be that understands football anyway. An out and out number nine striker who's going to bag you goals every single week. That's not what he is. Um, no. And I don't think, I don't, I don't understand the, I don't know what you expect from Mope. Are you expecting him to score every week? Are you expecting him to go and beat five players? Because that's not going to happen. You're going to get someone that's going to press someone. He's statistically, I think, the second best pressing forward in the league. He might even be joint top best pressing forward in the league for uh, pressures, if that helps your little agendas. But um, I think he's I think he's joint top with Wilfred Zaha. Um, and people rate Zaha really highly. And that really annoys me because people won't appreciate that, but they'll only appreciate him if he scores a tap. No, people don't, don't appreciate it really annoys me either. 
It really annoys me. I don't know why. It just seems to, yeah. I don't like my pair of boots because I just, it just annoys me because people don't appreciate what he actually does. Um, and yeah, obviously bringing yeah. him off the fan was a bit strange. But yeah, I think, what are you expecting from him? You expect him to score 20 goals a season because you're looking at the wrong striker, mate. Yeah, we had all these conversations last year, didn't we? Where it's not, that's not yeah. going to happen. That's not what we it's paid. Not, it's well, simply yeah, not what you'd like him to, but it's, that's to expect that he was going no, to be exactly. completely wrong. But exactly. hopefully he'll be doing it against Leicester on so, Wednesday. So but Maz, quick, your thoughts then, on Leicester? Oh, Leicester. Well, look, like I said um, earlier, I think, yeah, it depends on the team that Leicester play. If they go for it, uh, and we, because um, I, I think I'm I'm 99% sure we will play a um, sort of a second 11, so to speak, uh, with like sort of the fringe players coming in. I, I believe so, because we, we've done it for the past two games, I believe. So, um, yeah, I don't see why he sort of changed that now, unless, unless he's, what you said earlier, Ben, about the whole, uh, is this a competition we can win? You know, can we go far on it? He might, he might, you know, spring a surprise and play quite a strong 11. So you never know. That's, yeah, but, I, feel, I do feel like Neil Obe only playing 45 men's will be a clue, yeah. as, maybe as the clue into who he's going to play. And also, let, will we want to waste energy because we do have we'll talk about it a bit but like obviously we've got Liverpool there and then on the weekend which will be yeah, exactly. one that will take a lot of energy to be able to that's the thing that's keep the thing we, we, so we've like, got we've got to play like a you know a fully fit best 11 like yeah. they've got to be I wouldn't on top be upset four. if we played like a, a second string team some fringe players yeah, yeah. Give, them, give them a run out because even well, if we like, played our first team against Leicester away who were in form it's not likely that we'll still get the win there either so I don't no, know, exactly. it's a bit of a one. It's, a, it's, a, it's think, an annoying fixture to get in the cup. Le- Leicester are, th- are three games win on the bounce. They're, they're sort of back in form, so to speak. Uh, they'll be they'll be up for it. So I, I reckon, without being a pessimist, I think it's going to be a a one nil Leicester win. I reckon, or a two one. I don't one think nil. it'll you know yeah two two one one nil something like that. Uh, I think a Leicester win, unfortunately. Yeah, Boys, no, I'm with you, you on that. Yeah. I'm with you on that. I don't know about I don't know about score, but I just yeah, I'm just not hopeful of us getting anything out of that mm. match. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I must admit the game does scream two 0 Leicester. I've got to be honest. I, I yeah. thought it, was yeah. I thought it, it just screams two yeah. 0 Leicester. Um, Madison yeah. will turn up yeah. as he always does against us. Yeah, I, I, it'll I be, be too, yeah, the I, classic I, I Madison and Vardy, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. They love to I, I, like League them. Cup, look, like you know, it'd be great if we were to win a, a cup. You know, that goes without saying, you know. But yeah. I wouldn't be too fussed if we went out of League Cup. To be honest with you, I'd be like, fussed, yeah. so I'd be like, meh. Who cares? Like anyway, right. So and then final preview then. Liverpool, of course, Liverpool. as we all know, Liverpool. Liverpool is probably the worst time to play Liverpool ever. How good were their uh, fans, because, though? <laughs> Some of the chance. Unreal. That's so yeah. funny. So funny. But Mo Salah is on absolute <laughs> fame. Like in, in the mere mortals world, I don't Mo think there's Salah a better player. So, so take out, take out <laughs> Messi and arguably Ronaldo. I don't really rate Ronaldo anymore anyway. But take out Messi, <laughs> like, you know, in the... In the, in the no, we're not know, having that discussion here. In, we're not, because we'll super, be here for hours. No, right. in the super, super <laughs> status, yeah. Lionel Messi is obviously, you know, in his own planet. But for me, Mo Salah in the mere mortals world <laughs> is the best player in the world. I don't think you can argue that. Yeah, right, currently, right currently, now, yeah. right now. That finish, I, I think, think, was it his third goal just before half time? Where literally, like, first time finish, bottom corner. How, oh, mate. Such a he's cute so finish. He's so good. Mate, he's fi- Never he's normally say it's a cute finishing. finish, but that actually, that yeah. was the definition but, of a cute finish. But also as well, so let, let's, let's, let's talk about this team section. Because obviously, um, Pep, well, sorry. They were on to Klopp a little bit, some some of the pundits and some of the, the fans, because of the fact he, like, for example, played Konate instead of Matip. Uh, he played, like, uh, a midfield three of Henderson, uh, Milner and Keita, and he dropped uh, Mane as well for Yota. Mm. So, like, people, some people were saying, like, it was a second string 11 from Liverpool, but they yeah, still and they demolished... And they also got Thiago Fabinho out as well, didn't they? Like... Yeah, and they demolished, they yeah, demolished Man United. People like... say, oh, yeah, their squad isn't good enough. I'm not being funny. Their squad is more than good enough. Like people, like for example, yeah. James Milner. What a player! Yeah? yeah, what a player he is. He is such a good player. And people who slate Milner simply do not understand football to save their lives. If you know, remember with the George Boring James Milner stuff, people just mm. yeah. If you don't, if you don't rate James Milner, I'm sorry, football's like the, not for you. It's the he's it's such the a good he covers player. for like a man of he's his age. I've like, seen mate. pictures of his top off. He's he's ripped. Yeah, like, he he's, looks yeah, like sure he's got. Mate, and he, he like covers incredible. so much distance. It's unbelievable. Yeah, he's yeah. Probably, but he so, might be a doubt because I think he went off injured, didn't he? Yeah, so, yeah, 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 maybe yeah, by yeah, now. Obviously, we're recording this. And like obviously, Kite, Kite, Kite is, um, is injured. Kite's out. Yeah, pretty bad as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which obviously, I don't wish injuries to anyone. Is it Kite or Kater? I say Kater. Kater. Yeah, I think it's Kater. Nabi lad. Yeah, it's Halen outside. How's that possible? I was going to say, I want to know. Three or three or five. Yeah, no. But no, look, let's be let's be uh let's put our sort of unbiased hats off. Uh, sorry, our biased hats off and be unbiased. Um 
I'll start. Um, I think it's going to be a very, very tough uh, day at the office. I think it's going to be another similar situation with Man City. I think, unfortunately, I think they're going to blow us off the park. Uh, just the way, Damage just the way they're playing at the moment. It? Yeah, I Damage think it's just one of those games where, like, right. we, yeah, we just want to. Has anyone ever played know? six defenders at the back? Is there a formation at <laughs> six at the back? Six yeah, probably. Eleven at the minute. back. Go, Chris. Shooting. Four centre backs <laughs> and two fullbacks. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, look. Without trying to sound too sort of down, downbeat, and sort of you know disheartened, I feel it's going to be yeah, a very, very tough day. Yeah. And if most, if they play that front three, uh, yeah, whatever front three they play, to be honest, as long as Mo Salah's in that team, you've got to be worried. Um, and I think they're going. I think Klopp's going to make a point as well, of like 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 how Pep did against us, like to play his best eleven because he wants to show us respect. He knows we're a good team, uh, and we beat them last season, didn't we? One nil. Was it Alzate? Wasn't it? Last season, yeah, yeah, um, so I think yeah, I think but they didn't have Van Dijk or anything. I'm not being funny. No, 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 yeah. we got they them out there. Dyke, we got like... them out there worst, didn't we? Uh, yeah, so yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go three 0 Liverpool. Unfortunately, uh, for this one, yeah. it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not being very positive. I'm sorry. I'm gonna say. I'm just. I'm gonna say four 0 Four 0 Four nil. Oh, I don't want to predict a four. I, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. I don't like four. You predicted a four, but for Brighton beating City last week. I'm such right, an idiot go five sometimes. Nil, go 5 0 Brighton. And, actually, no, don't go. <laughs> no, go don't go 2 0 Brighton. Brighton. I'll, I'll go hopeful. I'm going to say 2 0 Liverpool. I just hope that, you know, we don't get absolutely smashed. Because, you know, obviously, mm. I think the um, I think the United mm. drilling was personal. I think Klopp really, really wanted to beat United. So I think maybe, hopefully, <laughs> it's it a little bit easier than us. Uh, please, Klopp, <laughs> just don't hurt us too much. We're, yeah, we're already dead big. after the City one. Yeah, just, just don't hurt us <laughs> too Honestly, much. We're, we're I can't wait for the these next two fixtures. I can't wait for but this then, yeah. next two fixture to go but, because we've got yeah, five, five games that are all look decent. Like say, this, yeah. these next two games, don't let this. Don't think we're going to get relegated now. When if no, no, when no, or no. if we do lose these two games, not I'm not saying yeah, don't go and go reactionary. Say, yeah, yeah, Brighton yeah, fans, yeah, but, to these be are going to be two tough games. Yeah, to put to put a positive spin on it, after Leicester and Liverpool, we've got Newcastle, Villa. Leeds, yeah. West Ham, Southampton, and then Spurs, which yeah. is easy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then so we got we got we got we got, we got a nice Wolves as well. <laughs> we got Wolves. we got yeah, yeah Wolves yeah. after that. So we got we got Good a run nice that. run. Um, so and yeah, then Man United. And then Man United. We'll probably beat because yeah. actually they might well, have no, down in charge. No, 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 exactly. I was about to say if Oli's if Oli's if Oli's still there, we got a chance. But let's praise at the wheel. If he's gone, or Scalzi, we'll have a nail biting game. <laughs> I had to avoid all skulls jokes yesterday at work. I was so, I was so. Well, annoyed. you're not allowed to. I, yeah, I wasn't allowed to make any skulls jokes. No. Really? But we're, I knew, we're some, I knew someone was going to do a nail biting tweet. Do, I knew do, do, mate, Paddy Power, they were going like they did about five tweets on him. I was like, they're just did going they? in on him. Yeah, they, I swear they, they hate you because know, they got oh, like Rodri Giggs, yeah. Giggs, Ryan Giggs is their brother. Oh yeah, the front man, didn't they? I bet the bloke is like a Liverpool fan who owns Paddy Power. Probably, yeah, probably. Loyalty's dead. Uh, but yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> what an advert. Great so yeah, advert. so, so oh, to summarise then, boys, let, let's not, yeah, the next two games, like, don't be, don't let, if we do lose them, which hopefully mm. we don't, we can spring a surprise, but if we do lose the next two games, yeah, don't start calling for Potter's head and, you know, saying we're going to get... Oh, if I see shit. Potter's head, I'm deactivated. I'm sorry, I can't bother. I just yeah, actually yeah, can't bother. <laughs> Uh, right, boys. Listen, Rest in peace, as always, uh, comments down below. I can't below. believe we've it. I can't believe Ryan didn't dip out once. I know that's crazy. <laughs> what a miracle! That's a miracle. Well, I dipped out. No <laughs> word of a lie. I dipped out. I think three or four times, like yeah, four off times. air, trying five. to get on it. Yeah, literally, maybe even five, just trying to get yeah. on the thing. Like this is ridiculous. How have even survived this? Blessed. Also. We're blessed. Yeah. It's meant to be, guys. Um, so it's boys, meant to be. Comments down below. It's because the comments gods knew below. that we needed to post this podcast. The fans and I, yeah. I say, I say, <laughs> Ryan's Ryan's internet is undefeated. That's the comment down below, please. No, no, that's it's certainly not undefeated. Internet, it's it's that's certainly too, not that's undefeated. Too kind. Ryan lives um, in the centre park. Should be the comment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go, go with that. Uh, Ryan lives Ryan, in centre park. Yeah, yeah, Ryan lives in Ryan centre park. So if you're watching on YouTube, yeah. uh, leave a comment down below. If you've got, if you made it this far, Ryan lives in centre parks. Uh, please down below. Uh, and of course, listen, uh, we really appreciate everyone supporting and watching. So if you, do, if you did enjoy the video, please do drop a like. Uh, make sure you subscribe as well. And also, we don't never say this, but turn the notification bell on as well. So whenever we upload yeah. a new new upload. Turn the notification hit the bell. on my YouTube hit the bell. Outro. Yeah, no, literally. <laughs> yeah. Hit the bell. Make sure so you're in your sub box. Turn the notifications on because that's a small YouTube, but I'm always going to be at the bottom of your sub box. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, no, and also, as well, if you want to follow us all individually as well, uh, of course, we've got all our social handles. Uh, yeah. in the, FC uh, right here. As well. Um, also, as well, yeah, funny enough, I, I got my first, I got my first hate mail uh, this week, boys. Didn't I? On oh my Twitter. god, yeah, that's quite funny. That's quite funny. But I love first, you're a lucky boy. You are. 
First? I know. Yeah. Well, this is my first is, time too, mate. Yeah, Ryan, Ryan's just immune, immune to it all now. Like, Ryan's got the immunity. First time? Of, of immunity. <laughs> that means I'm still first time. Yeah. 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 First time. First time. First time. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that is unreal. Oh, that's so good. Oh, um, so yeah, no, um, oh, yeah. Uh, so big shout out to uh, what was his name? What was it? He had a proper Brexit name, didn't he? It was like Steve. Um, I think. Oh, so big out, big out, shout out, Darren. Yeah, I think yeah, big Darren or something. Yeah, yeah. Darren. Oh, Darren. That's it. Big shout yeah, out to Darren. Shout Darren. Darren. Uh, if you're watching, if you made it by Darren, <laughs> First time. yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, you done, you done well there. Um, and then what else? Oh, and, and of course, if you're streaming on Apple, and, uh, Apple and Spotify, keep doing that thing, and we really mm. appreciate all your support. And we shall see you. Oh, we need, oh, sorry, yeah, we need to post, we need to post those support. roasts. <clears throat> we need to post yes. those roasts because we told yes, you yes. if you... We have not if forgotten you, about you, that. We're gonna, we, yeah, if you haven't do done that, Instagram. we'll give you one more chance to do it. Yeah, we'll yeah do one more it chance. Later this week because uh, it takes a while to refresh Yeah. It. For a bit of context, if anyone missed it, basically what we asked you guys to do was to roast us all. And to be fair, we've got some quite funny ones. We won't read them out now because we, I, I appreciate mm. it was quite a long pod already. But we can we can read out next week. We, we we all got roasted a little bit. I think Ryan got the preferred brunt of it actually. Yeah. Uh, but what a surprise, uh, mate! Uh, oh my god, oh. <laughs> shock. Let me let me see. Wait, let me just quickly try and pull it up. I'll see if I you wonder why I'm up. going grey and I'm only twenty years old. I'm not being funny. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, where is it? Hey, how do I check it again? Then I can't find it. Take the abuses are oh, sixty uh, years. That's right. We'll leave it as a surprise for. Yeah, we'll leave. Yeah, we'll leave. We'll leave it. Yeah. But basically, um, next time you're on, uh, sorry, if you're on the Apple app, uh, Spotify thing, yeah. just make sure you leave a comment. Uh, or even if you're not, us. if you're watching on YouTube, just go and do it now, very yeah, quickly. Yeah, yeah. Or you so, get no, to make really fun of us for free. We've had a lot of people rating it, so I really appreciate that. And it's all been yeah, well. Fun. Someone, someone rated us. One out of one out of five. Oh, that's probably harsh, that's fair, let's be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> Someone actually got. took the time out of their day to do a one out of five start. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, right? But you literally need to go outside. Just like have some fresh air. <laughs> seriously, it will do you the world again. <laughs> <laughs> And then, and then, um, <laughs> and then if so, someone I don't know who this is Mazio Ten. I, I, I can't think of the life of oh, who that could be. He said Maz is by, my, by far my favourite. And then also some guy called Ben Spalding commented, "Love this podcast, especially not ben even Spalding. a fake name. I just just use my own name. <laughs> <laughs> you even you ben kind of covered it with Mazio. This guy, you yeah. Mazio. <laughs> right, oh, peace God. out, love, and we'll see you next week in a bit. Peace. Of-